Hello guys, hello people and welcome back again Brazilian Reality ITV Tirangwe kubere kwa DJ Sparks Tiri pata papa tuno kui gire nyanza Kasena sena zangu chichika Matiu mara ose nike Zimbabwe Nyani na yipana pa Inya ino ufundu Inya ino kachika maza Ndutana na shwa Men of God wale apa Wakuta yu kutu wakafa Wakaenda kuyefin Wakaona Jesu Wakayanzo wana kutu I don't know this is Jesus Christ Saka nati chinsu kwa chitaura Mwafa mawawona Then mwazo kumendo kutu mwuru kwa wana si Mwuru kutu wose inya ya wana kutu wana Ya wana kutu wana you know what I'm Zimbabwe sometimes Panazimini and Zonu and Azuzu no chikisans no fulu So kachika maza Mawanti Now things when you hey The intro to what you hear So kana kana kasika manje manje But before guys Kwa shikuna kudila bora Kuna kudila bora Kuna kufa mbukuona Naba zikufa mba pasa sabo Wani tayo nzi but let me show you this flyer. It is absolutely not a board. It is an installation. It is not a board. It is a board. It is not a board. It is 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 a board. Yenda kudenga, theni wakambofa, wakenda kudenga, wakano wona, shwaka wona. Yetinzwe, message ya waina ayo. Kredi tiche zose ya ku ministry yao, kuna yo prophet ndomu, kito video, iti mwini papaku reporta news. I hope one understand that yadzi ma section. Fair use. Greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. My name is Tatenda Gurupira from Zimbabwe. On the 17th of June, I had an out-of-body experience. Some might call it death. And I got a rare opportunity of visiting heaven and the Lord showed me things that I'd love to share with you in this testimony. So please, if you can spare a few minutes of your time, I'd love for you to hear what the Lord showed me and what I experienced. So it's the 17th of June, 2024. Um, I just woken up from another dream. It was around 3 a.m. And I decided to go back to sleep and I went back to sleep. I had a, a very scary dream where I think I had the thieves or, or some people would come home and I got a gunshot and and I was I was gonna die. So normally when you die in a dream you wake up. So I had a split second of waking up but then everything went blank. I lost consciousness in the real world but then I felt my spirit leave my body and immediately I knew I'm dead whether my wife knows it or not but i'm dead i'm gone i'm no more in the earthly body but i was in a, a blank space five minutes of of darkness and uh, nothing that was going on but my head was conscious and during those five minutes ladies and gentlemen the most amazing thing happened to me i remembered everything i'd ever done in my life i'm talking about the the small memories things i thought i'd forgotten it's like a sentient type of knowledge that you have when you when you die you know everything you did and immediately i knew um i knew where i was going because um before sleeping i had made my life right with christ um everything was good so i knew i was going to heaven i was just waiting expecting it in a sense and so um a few minutes later i get into this huge um auditorium or hall like it's a hall um but it has many bookshelves many bookshelves um, to the left, to the right, and I've, I'm kneeling down in this place, um, and it's it's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. This, it's it's supposed to be a library, but the finishing that's there, it, it's such a beautiful place. And there's people going up and down, huge tall men, writing books, arranging uh, shelves, and so I stand up, I start to walk down the hall, and I'm seeing names of people written on the books uh, that are in the shelves but these were names of people and i could make out um, the names of people but i can't remember but god only gave me the grace to remember the name of one man um, and it's a secular artist a big secular artist in our country i saw the name um, and i thank god after remembering when i when i then came back um, i think a couple of days ago i i had the opportunity of talking to that man i preached jesus to him and i told him repent um, i don't know if your book is nearly its end because there was a man holding this book um all the other books i was reading 
names were on the sides they were in the shelves but his particular book there was a man holding it and he was writing things in the book but it was near its end so that's why i had the huge sense of agents to to preach to that man and i, I thank god he listened to me i'm walking down the hall and um i i see i see a huge door in front of me um, after seeing all these other books i see a huge door in front of me and in that moment i felt this this dread and this sense of reality that i am in heaven and all these people that are going up and down they are angels writing the books of people but i'm not supposed to be here and i could see the faces of the angels that were looking at me they gave me that look of you're not supposed to be in this particular section of heaven you're not supposed to be here um this is a place where the books are written and things like that so um i kneel down and i just started crying i don't know why i was crying but i just started crying and there's a there's a huge tall man an angel standing guarding the entrance to the to the room where i'm facing and i'm kneeling down and i, I just started to have this sense of praying to say um, I hope I get a chance to plead my case so that I go back. And in that moment, a man appears to my left. He walks up, appears to my left. I, I, I had, I was, I was facing down, so I looked and I could see a white garment. And the man says to the angel, "Let Tatenda through." Um, the angel says, "But no, his time is up. Um, his things are already prepared. His books are already prepared." And the man says, um, "He, you have to let him through." because his case is a special case so i look up because there's such a sense of authority in the voice of this man i look up and i look and i could tell this is jesus i i could tell like immediately what? i saw him and i said this is jesus he had a white a white headpiece um and a white garment with embroideries on the edges even the headpiece had embroideries on the edges he had a big book on his left um, that he was holding like this and I, I perceived this was people that were coming it looked as if he is the one who had brought me into this section um, and he had just left me there to then continue on my own he had other things to address and he said let us tender through his case is different so the angel lets me through I go through the entrance and I get into this this very nice office hall like and it just there was a glory in that place that i cannot describe a presence that was in that place and angelic activity for the first time i could then see angels that can fly you know and they were flying behind the throne that was there so there was a throne it's bright it's shining there's so much light there and there are angels going up and down behind the throne there's also angels that are arranging because in that room there was bookshelves to the left to the right but unlike the first hall that i was in in that room the the bookshelves went all the way up and i couldn't see where the last shelf was so i knew and there was a man sitting on the throne glory coming from him um and i could not make out his face i could not describe it i couldn't it's just a glory just like the face of the man that i saw in the previous room the face of christ i could not make it out it was just a glory and and in the same way the the face of the man i saw you know and it was glory and i would love to believe that that was god the glory was so immense that i couldn't i couldn't look so i just face down and i am just i just start crying the presence in that place was so amazing so i start crying and as i'm crying i'm looking to my right on the floor there is a pile of books and i can tell these are the books of my life so because of the knowledge that you get when you get to heaven you know you know everything that's going on so i knew the books and i knew that book has has this i mean these books have everything you've ever done i mean everything i've ever done um you know every movie i've ever watched every song i've ever listened to everyone i've ever loved everyone i've ever scolded every last i've ever had every everything every thought every offering every time i went to church they were in various books but they were piled up right to my right hand side and my deal was now okay so i think i'm here to plead my case um so that i'm given another chance <clears throat> but i i could not find the words to say it was such a scary moment because i i started to remember things that i didn't do for god and so i was so afraid of pleading my case that i just started crying and saying please forgive me 
please give me another chance and i cried so loud that it drew the attention of the father and the father walked up to me and it's still a glory that i couldn't make out and he says what do you want i could not find the words to say so a man appears to my right and this man is is full of love full of he 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 holds my shoulder and assures me that he's going to plead my case i look at him and i can't make out his face again just like the jesus when i saw him in the first room just like the father this man i can't make out his face it's a glory and in a split second we communicate about my life he knows everything and he says i'm going to plead your case um and then he says to god tatenda still needs more time um he has so many music assignments that he needs to fulfill um and god replies and says but why do you need more time didn't you have enough time as a musician to fulfill the tasks that i gave you you know i can't reply so the holy spirit says no tatenda only started music recently um he's been at school um he's been all that and then the father says tatenda has been doing music for 16 years and and god takes goes to the shelves takes a huge book and comes with it right in front of me and it's got my name on it but it is different from any other book that i saw previously it felt like a book of remembrance and in that book there are only three pages written it was this thick of a book but there are only three pages written and the reason why it's so thick is because it's it's like the book that i'm supposed to fulfill before i go and there are only three pages and in those three pages three pages that are written are written things that i did for god with their heart So the shocking thing when I saw the book is in that book there were offerings that I gave to church tides that I gave conferences that I attended but it's not all of them that were in that book and I could actually tell the offerings that made it into that book are the offerings I really gave out of my desire to fulfill God's work but there are other offerings that I actually gave even huge figures they were not in that book they were in the pile of books that was to my right In that book I saw some of the songs that I wrote for Fig Worship Culture. I think two of them they were in that book. The others were not there. Um there was conferences that I attended. There were cables that I I repaired for church, you know, but some of the other Sunday services where I sang and worshiped and ministered, they were not written in that book. They were in the pile of books that were there. And I could I mean time moves differently in heaven and I think is the Adam type of knowledge as well where you know everything that's happening you have super intelligence in that place so I I then began to fear for myself because I knew the number of things that I did for God with a whole heart they they are so few they can only feel three pages in a book of 1000 pages so I start crying I I I mean I lament I cry and the holy spirit pleads my case again so i'm thinking 16 years god says i've been doing music for 16 years and yeah when i now think of it now is 16 years ago i was in form 1 and that's the first time i learned harmonies from simba maguri so it all tallies up you know so the holy spirit then says he starts pleading my case as if he's a lawyer with the most the, the even the, the the smallest of things he then says the economy in zimbabwe is so difficult you might not understand what it is to be man but it's not that he doesn't want to work for you or fulfill you, he, your tasks it's just that he's doing things to get money at the moment so that he can live but if he had the money he would have um done your will a long time ago and and that was infuriating to god that was his point of saying why have you just been chasing money why haven't you been chasing my will so in that moment i start to think so what what exactly is god's will upon my life and that's when i remember my father told me to write a hymn book and i'm thinking in that moment please i hope he doesn't you know go to the hymn book thing so in that moment god goes to the shelf and says um i want attender to see how you know how far behind he is so he goes to the shelf brings out a book just like mine but it's written david and i i i knew this is the book of david it seemed old been in that shelf for a long time and in that book there are so many things that it did so many things that it that didn't even make it to the bible and 
in that book there is also another book at the end which is the book of psalms which is his hymn book and there are other songs that were in that book of psalms that didn't make it to the bible i could actually tell this song is not in the bible and god says this is the life of david he lived and he fulfilled my work and he left this book of songs in the world and then god brings out another book and it's my book and it's empty it's a hymn book and it's empty and it's written to tender it's supposed to be a hymn book that i'm supposed to write but it's empty it doesn't even have any song and god was angry saying why hasn't he written at least even one song for the 16 years that has been there why hasn't he been writing songs for the hymn book and god asks a critical question what makes us sure so he says what makes us so i then i that's when i realized this was the holy spirit this man who was pleading my case was the holy spirit because when the final question then came God says what makes us um sure that when we put him back he will fulfill the tasks that I have assigned for him and in that moment I went blank and the holy spirit so guys video inakura zvekudaro unakura zvekudaro i think ino wana kuzotsvaga eh ani manzo ranzi tatenda bona kuzomtsvaga then we have to order video yes we have to order but my story is Mukuru wangu ari kuHeaven wakasangana zvinhu zvakasangana zvese zvakashare hapa 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 vakuti ndizvo zvakasangana zvo but for now thanks for watching thanks for supporting Zimbe ITV always remember that fear not see not whether you like it or not the truth is the truth uye zve kusara kuti follow wako zvino zvitona kuti ku Facebook kuti ne page yakanzi DJ Sparks W no official page yenu then ku YouTube yakanzi Zimbe ITV but if you don't follow DJ Sparks please follow Jesus Christ sign in on the page wako otherwise for now i am out